The death toll continues to rise following Ian's destructive path through Florida and other states of the eastern coast. Thank you for joining us on 13 On Your Side. I'm Vanessa Gangora. Recovery efforts are underway while concerns grow of river flooding. Ivan Rodriguez has the latest. Recovery and rescue efforts continued Saturday with the help of the Coast Guard in Florida following Ian's devastating path in the state and the Carolinas. At least 64 people have died in Florida and more than 1 million residents in multiple states are without power. We have already started the planning efforts for what it's going to take to rebuild these communities um, and recover from this storm. In Sarasota, cleanup efforts got underway Saturday morning after Ian slammed into the southwest part of the state as a Category 4 hurricane, the deadly storm causing massive damage and flooding. We have over 1,300 people on the ground for the Florida Department of Transportation. 1,300 miles of roadway have been cleared. Traffic on I-75 South between Northport and Venice, Florida, jam-packed on Saturday as residents attempt to return home, even though some roads are impassable. The only store on, the, on, the, on this side of the river is underwater right over here right now. This comes after a levee was compromised in Sarasota County, causing greater concern for more flooding in the Hidden River Valley community Saturday. It's going to boil down to us coming together, working with the different agencies, working with the federal government, and, and ensuring that the right people get the right services. Moving up the coast, a similar scene on Myrtle Beach, where cleanup began. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster giving an update on the aftermath. There's some heartbreak. There's work to be done, but all in all, it's a, it is a good story, another good story for South Carolina. Back in Florida, Ian's deadly path could become the most expensive storm in the state's history. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting.